so what is it we're doing today, dear? Um, we eat mumberry strawberry. We ate uh, strawberry my mom grows in this farm. This farm right here? Yes. That we're surrounded by right now? Yes. Yeah. And how long has this farm been around? Uh, let's eat first. Um, now it's sweet and have sour after taste. Are we describing the strawberries? Mm -hmm. I was asking you about the farm. Mine's similar to what you said. Mm -hmm. You like it or not? I like it. Mm -hmm. I prefer them sweeter. Uh huh. Um, well, you're probably not surprised by that given yep. how I like sugar. Um, this farm started five, six years ago in 2015. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what about the second farm? Because there's two farms here in Dalat, if I'm not mistaken. Um, last year, so it's two years now. Yeah. But I don't know about the future of that one because of COVID-19. Mm. And my brother-in-law is earning some money at a bank. So he's thinking of selling that farm. So he's free from the burden of paying interest every month. And that firm, I think, is bigger, right? Hmm. Isn't it? It's, it's like almost four times bigger compared to this one. Oh, this one is really good. You want to try it? This one is not as sweet. I thought it would be sweeter because it was, I thought it was redder. So, since maybe people can hear right now, this is, if I'm not mistaken, sort of a family-run farm. We have your your son in the background singing away, mm -hmm. corralling the puppies so they don't knock over the camera. Is this one going to be okay? Perfect. Do think, how do you think this one's going to go? Um, I think it's going to be kind of sour. Well, you know, it's, it, I think for me, if strawberry doesn't have a sour taste, it's not strawberry. Oh, okay. Yeah. But it needs to have a sweet taste. So I would say for this variety of uh, strawberry, which is the New Zealand variety, the, the sweet is quite at least equal to the sour taste, or it could be sweeter than the sour taste. And that is okay. So you think this one is going to be at least equal? Equal. Mm -hmm. Alright, cast your votes now, people. I'm going to give you two seconds. What do you think this is going to be? And maybe put in the comments whether or not you were right. <laughs> the anticipation builds. <laughs> I feel like it's more sour than sweet. Uh-huh. Yeah. How about this one? I, I would say. How about this one? I would say this one is sweeter, but also Am given. Am I trying it? Mm -hmm. You're trying this. I think I'm beating you, by the way. I've eaten way more than you have. Yeah, you're so greedy, man. I'm so greedy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. I would have thought that you would eat a lot more of these, given how long you spent building this thing. Yeah. Okay. Try. You know, I have okay. a farm. I so... should stop talking and keep eating. <laughs> Because I think people are curious. Actually, that one tastes a little strange. This one? I'm going to be totally honest. It tastes a little unexpected. I think it's lovely. Okay. Good for you. Well, hello, puppy. Yeah. So I don't uh -oh. know. I think, Three puppies um, went by. Well, I think, you know, maybe you can see this. Yeah. Yeah. And then you expect that a strawberry got to be solid inside, but it's not always the case. No. By the way, if you think strawberry is too salty or not salty, I'm uh, sorry, if you think that strawberry is not sweet enough or not as sweet as you expected that, you can try some of this with a salt. So that's not For just salt though. There's I don't know how to, to I don't know how to describe the other thing. Well, isn't there also chili? It's have like dry pickle or dry date oh. cream and then mix into it. But okay. I don't know how 
Oh, you got my tip. So they said um, in Vietnamese we call mui o mai. And I bought it in Hanoi. Oh, oh yeah. it was with me though. Yeah, yeah, it yeah, was yeah. We drove like specifically. All way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To some special little shop. Yep. Yeah. With well, this woman, I didn't get to meet her. I had to watch the bike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is special from Hanoi, and perfect to eat together with fruit. And so, right now is the rainy season in the lab, which I think people could probably tell. Sure. Due to what's probably a bit of noise behind us. Mm-hmm. But we kind of thought this was better to film than in the house. Yeah. But we spent a bunch of days in the house due to bad weather. True. Yeah. I think strawberry is not about much about size, but about how red it is. So I, I would so. prefer. Yeah, I would prefer the strawberry is all red from the top to the bottom. Mm -hmm. I like this one. Uh -huh. This one's good. Uh -oh. See, it's not it's that big, big, right? That's one is not that big. Yeah. Maybe it's quite long. Well, at home in Canada, actually, the wild strawberries are super small. Mm -hmm. And they're usually really tasty. Mm. I like mine too. Yeah. Yeah. what we have here is about I think more than a kilogram yeah but not two kilogram <laughs> right. uh -oh. and so just to clarify we're not actually going to eat all these right now uh, we don't have to but right. uh, we can eat until we said oh I'm done yeah. I don't know you know That's the goal. it could be a challenge to see how many so. kilograms or you know. Mm. Just lovely. Man, honestly, you can try this one. So you mentioned though that these are a New Zealand variety. Mm, no. Why did you go with the New Zealand variety? I mean, are there any varieties that would be closer than New Zealand? Um, Is well. there like a Vietnamese variety at all? Or are they imported? Uh, not that I know of. We have a um, Vietnamese variety of uh, strawberry, but when my grandmother from my mom's side was still alive, mm -hmm. um, well, it could be, I think, in the 90s. She passed away in the 90s. So early in the 90s. Um, and in the 80s, she was a farmer and she do and she did she grow strawberry it's what friend variety and the berry was small like this one i think uh, from what my mom said it tastes good it's very soft it's very sweet it smells good but it's small and because it's soft so basically you can try transfer it um, for example, long distance to Saigon. Mm -hmm. uh, nowadays, in the last, we have Japanese variety, which also different variety. Like they have four or five different kind. Mm -hmm. And then we have um, American, also at least two kind or three kind. We have uh, South Korea, at least one kind. Um, um, I don't know what else. French, again, but a new variety, not the the one that my grandmother have. Um, this one my family choose because it's not so soft, so you can send it to Saigon or Hanoi, no problem. But I would recommend that if you want to send them from the lab to Saigon, you use airplane. Yeah, but you know, I can send this to Kanher with an uh, overnight bus, no problem at all. And, and the taste is good. How would people make that happen? You just 
put them in the box? No, no, no. How them. could someone order them from you? Oh. How could someone have their very own big plate of strawberries? Um, you know, the neighboring of us, they come to our house and they, um, oh, they call my mom and they order. So, and then, you know, whenever they want it, they just come and get it. In Saigon or Cần Thơ, so basically, if you're not from Dalat, you got to play your order one day in advance, at least. And you would do mm. that. I swear, this is wonderful. How do you place an order? Where do you go? I don't know. You, <laughs> you send me messages on Facebook. Yeah. Or you call to my mom phone or my phone or yeah, so basically uh, we have we have a Facebook website and um, yeah, so I think um, some people because I think more than half of the people there who like or follow the Facebook know me or my mom in person yeah and you know somehow they have our phone numbers and everything so they prefer I think most people refer to Carter. Mm -hmm. But some, uh, for example, if people don't know who we are, and they are traveler, and they find us from Google shirt, yeah, usually they message us on Facebook. Well, if I'm not mistaken, recently, Mom Berry was recognized as the top ten of something, or ten farms in Dalat, or so. I can't quite mm -hmm. remember. I can e explain. And I that will eat. It was a pilot project to protect um, the last strawberry. Uh, this one is not so good. It have you know <laughs> because it's thick from here, so this have a mark like a scar here. Mm -hmm. So back to your questions, um, the last strawberry have different variety, and the variety is not uh, you know it's the quality different. You know, people if people expect um, sap, they go with Japanese Japan, um, yeah. strawberry. If people expect a uh, cheap, they go with uh, the American type. This is the, uh, for example, the in the middle, high end, mm -hmm. but you know, not as expensive as the Japanese one and not so cheap. But I think from the point of view of a grower. Um, Chinese strawberry selling in the lab and claim themselves at the last strawberry is a big challenge. A big challenge because I don't know why that they can import strawberry from China to Vietnam and can still and still can sell it for a very cheap price. Mm -hmm. uh, I heard that um, they sell it for. Um, 30 or 40,000 per kilogram with even the, you know, the lowest quality strawberry that grow in that lot um, sometimes sell for, I mean, most of the time, I think this is not good, this is too no. different um, most of the time sell for a higher price than that so the government had a pilot project to, to protect the last strawberry by recognize the farm that follow at least a Viet Gap standard uh, and then if you want to do Viet Gap you know their inspector come to your farm you know with notice or without notice and they check you know all your documentation and you know what type of fertilizer that you use mm -hmm. if you use you still have you got to keep the um, the package in the place so they can mm -hmm. see it. So it's not that you give them a name, you got to keep the package. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then, you know, you um, you got to, you know, like Viet Gap is, is one of the key things. And then, for example, my mom, she never increased the price, uh, you know, even if it's a holiday or a a weekend when they have a lot, a lot of people, yeah. so we sell for one price ever since we start a farm. You know, sometimes we discount, for example, COVID-19 
last time, a few months ago. So basically, they recognize you by local government recommend you that you are a good farm at the local place because they know you first, right? And also the um, government office that manage the Viet Gap standard yeah. know you and certify that, okay, this farm registered for this for so long, got trainings, yeah. And you know, from all the inspection trip that they make to your farm, you know, the record was good. And because of that, basically the idea is when this is the um, logo, the government logo of that last strawberry, if you use that logo, you got to pay, say, the membership fees to, to you know, to guarantee. Yep. And, you know, the government also promote you. But this is a pilot program, so they don't ask us for anything. We only submit our file. Yep. And so they choose only 10 farm, 10 strawberry farm in the lab to grant this certification for the first ground. So there will be more farm, you know, if they want to join this program and if they like, miss the standard. So for the first 10 farm in this pilot program, my farm is one of it. I'm done? I'm almost done. <laughs> I know you've been talking more, and I've been uh -huh. eating more. Yeah. Is there anything else that you think people should know about this lovely farm that we're on right now? Well, I don't think people should know about Momberry Farm in Pacific or particular. But I want people who buy strawberry uh, become, uh, you know, more aware of the variety of strawberry that they buy because you should not pay, for example, 300,000 Vietnam dong to buy Chinese strawberry that's thick, the last strawberry. And that's the big problem and challenge for, for a farmer like us. You know, you can buy from my farm, you can buy from our neighbor farm, because, say, you know, if my mom doesn't have enough strawberry to sell, she still recommend people to mm -hmm. farm network that she know. And, for example, in this farm we have 